nigga, I turn nothing into something. My head was in that pot, I was tryna make something. Oh yeah, these niggas be fake, so I'm watching these niggas clutching my pistol, tryna slide on me, then I'm gon' kill him. I'm not tryna kick it, niggas be fake. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Jeremy is coming at y'all with another video. As y'all see just now, I just collected the final two things that I needed in order to get to the amount to get this Andre Karolinko. Now if you guys don't know who this Andre Karolinko is, I'm going to tell you that right now. But if you guys, but if some of you do know how good this card is, what this card is, smash the like button for your boy and show some love because this, this is not easy to get. I mean, it can be easy if you just like make it you can make it as easy as possible but y'all see your boy went and collected a thousand two hundred and fifty cards just to get this Andre Karolinko now this might be the last collector's reward that I get because I don't really know if I want to start collecting cards like that but that should give y'all a little hint as the main things that you have to go for if you want to get this Karolinko but yeah man this Karolinko is one of the um this is actually the best diamond in the game um stats wise this is li like literally the best diamond in the game if you guys don't believe me then just go look at 2k mt central and you'll see this is the best diamond in the game highly sought after card because it has that base 11 jump shot if you guys don't know what the base 11 jump shot it's a super cheesy and easy release to shoot like anybody can shoot with it it's really easy to make and um yeah that makes it a really sought after card now obviously you can only get this card if you collect other cards in the game that is just that simple you can't get it from the market it's a rewards card but it's a hundred thousand percent worth it now when i got them i didn't have any of the most important badges on them which you're going to see but i ended up adding it to him um which is not recorded in this video because i just wanted to start playing with him right away to grind um mt to get the badges so yeah that's what i was doing when, once i got the card but yeah we're going to take a look at some of the stats I'm going to shoot around in the um, gym with him, show you guys that super cheesy release that I'm talking about and why the card is so sought after. But yeah, Andre Karolinko, y'all see him in the rewards section right there to, just to show you guys that that's the only way you can get him is through rewards. Now, um, if you guys are wondering what position this card plays, you can literally you can literally play him from the 1 through the 4. Now, I wouldn't say put him at the 5 because he'll be a little bit undersized. You don't want to do that. You don't want to put someone at the 4 that's extremely undersized, but he can play the 1 through the 4. Just because he has that 86 ball control, which is going to allow him to speed boost, so you won't really struggle. Now, you see me putting him off the bench um, over that Trevor Ariza, which is a really good card. I like. I really want to play the Trevor Ariza, but I can't. There's no space for him at this point. But, yeah, you guys see, I'm going to show you some of the stats. 92 driving layup, 93 open shot three, but um, it goes to 97 with my coach, Mike D'Antoni. Like I suggest before in other videos, get the Amethyst Mike D'Antoni coach because he will boost your player's stats. Um, the ball control remains the same, which sucks. I thought it was going to boost it to a 90, but not for power forwards. Um, 88 speed, which goes to a 92 with the D'Antoni coach. And um, 85 speed, but 85 speed with ball. Now, if I get a speed shoe, like a speed with ball shoe, I'm going to put it on this um, Karolinko because I definitely want him to have a 95, not a 95, a 90 speed. But yeah, you see the defensive stats are all really, really good. Like I said, this card has no weaknesses, literally. Now, if you look at the badges, he does have some good badges, but he doesn't have like the main ones like limitless, deep range, mid range that I. So what I did um, after this video is I went and started grinding on um, triple threat and I instantly grinded MT to get those badges. So that's all I was doing once I got the card. Y'all see me showing y'all right here. I didn't have any badges at that moment, but what I went and did was grind and got, I went and got the badges. My bad for the stutter, and I'm just mad excited about this card, bro. This card is such a god. But I'm going to show you guys right now the jump shot that I'm talking about. This super cheesy release. Super, super cheesy release. I don't know why they still show 2K TV. Like, no one watches 2K TV anymore. Let's keep it a stack. But, um, yeah, what I always do when I come to the gym, if y'all don't know, I always take a shot with the best player, which is Tim Duncan. I try to just start it off, just get into a little flow. We're going to take a three with him, and we're going to end up making it. So, yeah. And Tim Duncan only has a 77-3, but his release is really good. But, um, yeah. Karen Linko, y'all see all those stats right there. They all have A's across the board. Now, first jump shot with him is broke. So, yeah, basically all I'm going to be doing right here is just shooting with him, just trying to get used to the jump shot. I was just super happy to get him at this point when I when I was shooting around. So I just kept on shooting, kept on shooting. And I was just trying to um, get used to the jump shot. Now I do have this jump shot on park, on my park. But at the same time, um, I most likely have a different release because you can switch it up on um, on my park. You can like you can have this base, but you can make the release whatever you want it to be. So it can be different, which 2K does do. Like a lot of the cards do have the base 11 jump shot. Like um, 
Tom, um, Tom Gugliata, uh, Bob Pettit, Antoine Jameson, they all have the, this same bass, but some of them might have a different release. So yeah, that's basically the point I'm trying to make. But um, yeah, y'all see that release? This is one of the most easiest releases. If y'all don't believe me, I'm going to show you guys in a gameplay, which is going to come after this video. So if y'all want to see that, smash the like button and let me know. But yeah, this jump shot is straight up. And it's super difficult for people to contest but i'm gonna show you guys the boost that i get with it like i said before the three-pointer goes to a 97. um the other things remain the same now the layup uh does go to a 96 because of the plus four boost like i said before um you're gonna see the speed go from an 89 to a no from an 88 to a 92. ball control remains the same only because he's a power forward if he was a small forward he would have got a plus four boost to the ball control but it's all good um the hands go up by plus four i think um rebounding goes up by a little bit uh, what else? What else? What else? Still remains the same. Um, and there goes that speed right there. It goes from an 88 to a 92. Um, speed with ball it remains the same. Everything else remains the same. But I pretty much said everything that does get a boost from the um, Mike D'Antoni coach, which is pretty good. Now, I'm going to put a diamond shoe on this card. I'm not going to put a three-point shoe on him because he already has a 97.3. So there's no reason for me to really try to just boost it to 99. It makes no sense. I'd rather him be a lot faster and still have that same good three-point shot. So, yeah. I'm just still shooting around with him. Like I said, I'm just I was just in the gym trying to get real used to his shot. As you see me getting a couple of um greens. If y'all don't believe me yet, I'm pretty sure most of you guys already seen like I already know I'm a little bit late to it, but not everybody has this card. Like you don't always load up and see people with this card. So yeah, you can literally use this card for the rest of the year. Like he might be on my squad for the rest of the year. Not my he's gonna be in my team for the rest of the year. He's that good of a player. He can literally do everything. And I haven't even used him on, on my team unlimited yet, which I'm gonna do after I finish making this video. I want to test him out on my team unlimited and see how well he is now i personally don't record my team unlimited gameplays because i don't have an elgato so if i were to record a my team gameplay i would have to do it by clips and it'll be really really annoying so when your boy upgrades to an elgato we'll be able to start doing that but i can get those um i can get the uh the triple threat games so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get a triple threat um gameplay of him which i have recorded and ready to go for y'all but yeah all i'm gonna do right now is just um i think i'm um apply contracts to them yeah which i like doing because i hate when it's um i hate when they show that out of contract sign i hope that 2k gets rid of that because we're kind of tired of that little this little contract thing they got going on we already gotta do all this other stuff like get packs and all this stuff get badges i think that's enough mt being spent already why we gotta spend more MT on contracts? Like, come on now. But yeah, that Penny Hardaway is really good, bro. Like, there's a reason why I put him back in that lineup. I was trying to use Brandon Ingram right there, but he's super good on offense. But defensively, he's terrible, and it makes no sense because he's 6'9". You would think that 2K would give him the edge, but nah, they don't give him the edge. But yeah, like I said, I got the West Unsealed at the power forward. I was gonna put Andre Karolinko right there, but West Unsealed is too much of a good rebounder, and he does get a lot of defensive stops. So there's no reason for me to take him out. And he's and another thing is he has a really good jump shot. If y'all haven't seen my West Unso um, gameplay, go check that out too. The jump shot on the card is really good. But yeah, y'all see the badge right here again. Like I said, I did add Limitless, Deep Range, Bruiser, um, Mid Range that I Tireless Score. Like I added all those important scoring badges. Y'all see the Penny Hardaway right here. There's a reason why I have him in the lineup. My bench is just as good as my starting five not scoring in the paint wise but yeah y'all see right here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this Karolinko to replace the trevor reza like i said the trevor reza is such a good card like it, it really hurt me to take out the trevor reza but i had to test out the Karolinko and um uh Kawhi leonard and scotty pippen are both better defenders so i, I wasn't even going to try to test it but as y'all see me comparing the two cards right here bro trevor reza and andre Karolinko, there's no comparison except that trevor reza does have a better layup three-point shot and he has a better dunk but at the same time, um, Kirilenko is more all around and does have a better release. They both have really easy releases, but y'all get the point, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about this Andre Kirilenko card because most of you guys probably already seen gameplays on him. Did I take a W or did I take a L? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said before, like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And most importantly, hit the notification bell so you guys can see when I upload new videos. Gameplay of Andre Kirilenko will be coming right after this one. So stay tuned for that. Hit the bell for your boy. But that's pretty much it, man. It's your boy, Jen Ranks, and I'm out. I got that new drip. Shoot a pop out with the pool stick.
infinite Draco extended, 30 in it, sent on my hip 35,000 for the brand new rolling rich Bust out my wrist, I flex like wrist on mania I just might go take that jet to Australia Young Draco nigga, no I'm international Pull up a server, paint, no, they don't taxin' them Hoppin' Bugatti, push it to the maximum Young Draco nigga, I'm drippin' blood, drill like